Hi Donny, uh, here's a video response for you um, about how I got into DMing. So um, my first steps into it were not too dissimilar to your own. However, um, I found myself, I was about 13 and a half, 14 years old and um, a friend of mine at that stage called Andrew said to me, would you like to come along to our um, gaming club night? I had no idea what they were doing. Um, I don't even know if he told me actually, I just turned up, I think he actually just said it's a gaming club and I just assumed it was board games. Anyway, I turned up, I was handed the character sheet and effectively I found out later that I was playing Keep on the Borderlands, playing a monk. But I played one session only and at the end of that session Andrew said to me, what did you think? And I said, well, and it was a big, you know, quite a big group. I said, I liked it, really loved it Andrew, but I really want to do the DMing part, I want to be a DM. And everybody sort of starts shaking their heads and say, you know, it takes months to learn that. And I said, well, I'd like to do it next week. And everybody went, you know, what the hell are you talking about? I mean, you, know, you can't do that. And I managed to persuade them that it's something I really wanted to do. And I never looked back. I mean, to be honest with you, that were my steps in DMing. Did I play much? No, I just jumped straight in. Now, the plus side was, is that I found that I had a, a gift personally for, my strengths were, I was able to get into the NPCs very quickly. And I, I found I had a natural method acting skill that, allowed me to play multiple NPCs together, almost together, almost arguing amongst themselves and then talking to the players and able to throw voices quickly. And um, that really worked and players really got into it and their group size grew quite rapidly. The negatives was I was very easy going. I certainly didn't know the rules well enough. But I think um, my learning curve off that, which is really useful, is that I found that, you surprisingly, um, you know, Perhaps because it was older systems, you didn't need to know the rules as much. There were a lot of grey areas, so you had to improvise quite a lot of the time. Now, with the more modern systems, I suppose DMs coming into it have to really know their rules. So that's certainly something that um, I was fortunate about in those days. Um, but I, I also I found that I was lucky because the players were, although they, to me, were experienced players, in reality they weren't really. They didn't have that many sessions under their belt. So there was time on my side to grow with them as a DM. And over a period of time, I realised that I really had a flair for it. And obviously, I went from strength to strength. And hence the fact that of recent times, as you know, um, I've begun to decide that now is the right time to pass on some of the information that I've gleaned over many years of play, hoping that people will find that of relevance and importance and actually utilise those videos for hopefully helping themselves to DMing better or perhaps not making some of the mistakes that I've certainly made. So that was my beginning steps into DMing. Um, Donnie, thank you very much for the question. It's such a, a privilege for me to be able to reply to you for once. So thank you very much and happy gaming to you and take care. And I look forward to hearing your responses again soon. All the best. Take care.